Hello everyone, welcome to Nerd Geek Alive, I'm your host Chris. And today we are looking at evil. Truly evil characters are found in comic books all over the place. Characters like Joker and Red Skull being prime examples of this. We also see a lot more nuanced evil characters. Think for example about Poison Ivy, who is technically a villain, but she only hurts those who do not respect Mother Nature and the Green. There is also a third category in the villain sector, and these are alternate versions of well-known heroes, usually hailing from an alternate universe our time for in the future these well-known heroes and heroines have had quite a different life story than their main universe counterparts today we're taking a look at five of these characters hope you enjoy it on earth tree the crime syndicate rules supreme as an evil version of the Justice League. This team of supervillains rules their earth with an iron fist. One of the worst members of this team is Lois Lane as earth Tree's superwoman. She has a relationship with Ultraman, but also an affair with Owlman. Unbeknownst to the two, she also is carrying out another affair with Alexander Luther, one of the few actual heroes on Earth 3. Although Hero is putting it mildly, because Alexander Luther is just as brutal and deadly as the crime syndicate. She comes to Earth 1 during the Forever Evil storyline. The Syndicate imprisons most of the members of the Justice League inside of the Firestorm Matrix and starts a reign of terror over Earth-1. Now at this moment, Superwoman was pregnant, supposedly by Ultraman, but she also told Owlman that the baby was his. As it would later turn out, the father was actually Alexander Luther. The Crime Syndicate was eventually defeated by the Injustice League and Superwoman was captured. Later, during the Dark Side War, the Justice League was left with little choice but to free Ultraman and Superwoman from Argus custody. Although Superwoman initially attacked the Justice League, it was Owlman who told her to stop and convinced her that the Crime Syndicate and the Justice League would have to work together. During a fight against Steve, Trevor and Grail, Superwoman gave birth to the child of Alexander Luther. Grail took the child, and the child had the ability to absorb the Omega Effect from Lex Luthor, as well as the Anti-Life Equation from Steve Trevor, causing the child to become the new Dark Side. Grail then continued to murder Superwoman by incinerating her with Omega Beams. In an alternate future timeline, almost all of Earth's superhumans were wiped out by nuclear war. This was followed up by a series of chemical attacks, bringing humankind to the brink of extinction. Bruce Banner survived the devastation by being kept into stasis by AIM. Banner escaped from AIM custody and traveled to the United States. He found the city of dystopia in what used to be New York City and that this place was ruled by a being known only as Maestro. The Hulk quickly figured out that Maestro was in fact the demigod Hercules. 
twice in a row, Hulk failed to defeat this demigod. Eventually, he teamed up with the villain Vapor. Vapor seduced Hercules and then turned into a deadly toxin that was capable of killing the demigod. Hulk, however, turned on Vapor by freezing her, shattering her into pieces, and having those pieces buried far away from each other so she could not regenerate. Hulk then seized control of Dystopia and took on the new name of Maestro. In the DC canon, there are actually two characters who are known as Leatherwing. One of them is a pirate, and one of them is Nazi Batman. And it is Nazi Batman that I want to talk about here. On Earth 10, the Nazi party took over the entire world with Adolf Hitler still alive as Führer. The Justice League Axis acts as superpowered agents of the party. On this earth, the people with the strongest genes are taken away to breeding centers, while those with weak genes are eliminated in mass genocides. When Monarch begins his search for superpower beings to battle the Monitors, he sent Forerunner to Earth 10 to seek out any heroes with potential to join his army. Forerunner attacks members of the Nazi party who are at that time engaged in ethnic cleansing. This attracts the notice of the Justice League Axis. Forerunner is able to defeat the entire team before Monarch arrives to offer them a position in his army. As a member of the Justice League Axis, Leatherwing joins Monarch and his army in a waging war against the Monitors. Leatherwing finds himself attracted to Forerunner despite the fact they is normally adverse to interracial relationships on his own world. Forerunner, however, remains adamant to not fall for him and bluntly rejects him. Later, Leatherwing is seen on Earth 51 fighting alongside his team against the Monitors. Reality 10011 was fairly similar to the main Marvel Universe, Reality 616, but it came to a turning point with Morvel dying of cancer. While he was bedridden, his terminal condition caused such distress among the people who adored him that the empathic trauma was sensed by the many angled ones. They reached out to the dying Morvel to give him one simple truth. Even dead may die. Marvel used the powers of the many angled ones to transmute his closest allies in corrupted versions of themselves. The X-Men, the Revengers and the Defenders of the Realm managed to sacrifice the Avatar of Death and consequently annihilating Death itself in their reality. This caused life to grow out of control. Earth's heroes, with the X-Men among them, grew zealous worshippers and servants of the many angled ones and the outer gods. Later, they came into conflict with Earth 616. The X-Men themselves still shared a lot of the outward appearance of their original counterparts, but they were horrifically mutated by life unchecked in the Cancerverse. A lot of these X-Men were killed by the Earth 616 version of Death, but because 616 Death had no influence in the Cancerverse, they were reborn there. Perhaps the best known character on this list, Superman's story from Injustice starts when the Joker decides he's had enough of tormenting Batman the entire time. He decides to move his operation to Metropolis to bully Superman. Joker kidnaps a pregnant Lois Lane and sends a message to Superman telling him to come get her. 
As Superman does this, the Joker shoots him with a kryptonite bullet covered in fear gas. This causes Superman to hallucinate and he sees Lois Lane as his old nemesis, Doomsday. He grabs who he believes to be Doomsday and flies him into space. Only then does his hallucination end and he sees that he is actually carrying Lois Lane. Both Lois Lane and their unborn child die by the hands of Superman himself. But this was not the end of Joker's plan. Lois Lane was equipped with a heart rate monitor and once it stopped, a nuclear bomb went off in Metropolis, destroying the city. These events throw Superman to the edge and he murders the Clown Prince of Crime in cold blood in front of Batman. Disillusioned by the fact that every enemy they face always comes back to haunt them. Superman and the rest of the Justice League start out on a killing spree, killing a lot of villains. Superman then disposes of the United Nations, ending all war and conflict. He establishes himself as a supreme ruler of Earth, his only real opposition being Batman and a few members of the Justice League. Eventually, Batman is able to bring in alternate versions of Superman and himself and manages to imprison his world Superman. And that's our list. There are a lot more evil incarnations of superheroes out there. If you have a favorite, pop it down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And please share this with your friends because it does help us grow. I've been Chris from Nordic Geek Life and I will see you all soon.